speaking of high tech, it has become a well-known fact in Israel that the high tech sector is in dire need of more talent. The last 12 months has seen robust hiring across the industry. In fact, from 2020 to 2021, there was a 244% increase in the number of jobs advertised, according to the Jerusalem-based venture investing platform, Our Crowd. Well, that may change. And some companies are now predicting a recruitment slowdown in 2022. And joining us to break this down along with newer trends in the tech workplace is Lali David. She's the head of business development at Our Crowd. So you have just released this fourth quarterly high tech index, right? right? Tell us a little bit about what were the most surprising outcomes of this survey? What stood out to you the most? I think the biggest, I think, the biggest uh, announcement of the report is that 80% of the companies are considering the hybrid work, uh, the hybrid work environment to stay. So work from home will be combined with regular work from the office. And 80% of the companies are considering this hybrid model to stay. Mm -hmm. It takes place currently and it is here to stay. And this brings a huge promise into the ecosystem of creating more job opportunities for talent from the periphery. So this right. can bring a lot of diversity into the work, uh, the work environment, allowing people to work from home and combining working from home with actual work from the office in the central locations in Israel. And beyond just periphery, we're also talking about women, right? Because a lot of mothers, for example, have been limited by childcare per se, now have more of an open door, you could say, as a result of having the ability to work from home. Um, but I also understand that there were, you know, certain job positions that were identified as being more in demand right now. Could you tell us a, a bit about kind of the jobs that we're seeing companies search for? Right, I think this is pretty much consistent. Every quarter we see that there's a very high demand for computer science uh, employees. There's very high demand for business development uh, and product managers. So this is consistent. And very generally we see that this is a job seekers market. Mm -hmm. There's more uh, demand and supply in, the, in, in terms of talent. And again, this brings us back to the opportunity to add diversity via working from home opportunities for employees outside of the central and right. women and other diver diversi diversity that can be added to the uh, workforce. Right. Now, it's interesting because part of the report also spoke to perhaps a, a lowering demand uh, for for new positions or for, for more employees uh, within the high tech sector and companies actually reporting they think they're gonna be hiring less. Why is that the case? I think there's been such a growth in demand and, and such a, uh, a growth in terms of hiring new employees that it should slow down and it makes sense and in 2022 we will see slowdown which is reasonable, uh, mature, companies are maturing, um, diverting the attention from hiring more to actually integrating uh, the new employees and expanding right. that into execution of sales and growth of the company. So that makes sense. Right. Well, also, you know, it's just interesting. It makes me think about employee retention and kind of the struggles in making that happen as well. What kind of techniques companies may be using to try to retain the employees that they have, but also how these trends could kind of impact the overall employee landscape. So we see the different companies have different initiatives to retain the employees, to add culture, to highlight their unique culture, uh, as opposed to the culture of multinational companies that are fighting for the same talent that the startups are fighting. So each startup is highlighting the unique DNA and culture and people uh, elements to, um, to attract uh, the best uh, employees to their company. All right, well, I'd like to thank you, Lali, so much for joining us and breaking that down. It really is fascinating, and, and these uh, quarterly reports are very interesting. So hopefully we'll have you back again. Thanks thank for you very us. much.